with all this multi-company stuff, uh, we've asked, we've added some new grouping splittings within our geo source. So there's two new ones. Company group basically available on all your sources. So we do have our standard transfer funds in and transfer um, yeah, transfer funds in, transfer funds out. So if you you know the the order was delivered by company one, but the payment came in with a different order on company two. Uh, when you apply those together, we create these automatic fund transfers, which will actually move the the AR from the payment um, from company you know two to company one. So that way the correct balances are on the correct balance sheets. So if you're you're only care about who's sending it and who's receiving it based on the nose, then you would set up. You know, you turn on your company um, grouping here and be able to do that if there's, you know, different counts. So the AR counts actually a different number in GP or something between the two companies. Um, you would need that. If for um, if you had, say, three companies and you're keeping track saying um, company one owes company three the $200 instead of just saying company one owes somebody $200, um, that's where you'd actually use that. Um, ledger set up in the configure panel instead but if you're all you care about is I'm transferring money out of this one company um, you could do that here with using that company grouping the other new one is a promo group now you're able to add a group onto your discount so your promotions so that way if you wanted all your standard promos to go to one um, account but you want all your free goods to go to a different account or if you have some huge special one for one supplier and you want to be able to put those into a different account tracking account so that way at the end of the period um, you can send that to the to the supplier and be like here this is everything that I lost from that promotion um, you know you get a rebate back of the 50% or the 100%, whatever it's going to be. That one, um, because it's tied to promos, it's only on the order line discount source. So under GL, sources. I'm going to go to order line discount since that will have both of them. All of them have all these different groups showing. Um, but as you can see, some of them are grayed out because they're not really used on that um, source, like um, some orderline cost. Well, AR write-off reasons has nothing to do with orderline cost, so that's grayed out, not needed. Orderline discount, on the other hand, I can have my program groups and my company groups, which what that does is add them in here, split things off more. So if I actually turn them off, it's a very simple, what item group is it? I can actually probably turn that one off too. So everything that's discount, it's going to um, debit sales and credit receivables, everything. I don't care. Well, no, if it's company, so I might, be, I might actually have them called sales and receivables, but maybe for for the main company, it's my um, it's account 300 for that database in GP. But for company two, the exact same account is actually 301 um, in the GP database. I can actually turn on that company and assign them the different account numbers based on my, my GL account records set up in EOSTAR. So I can separate them by company and then promos too. So if you have promos, um, this one currently only has one created called the standard discount. So everything that's in there will go to one, but if it doesn't have any group at all assigned, um, then it will hit the unassigned map and I can have that go to a different one. I could have that as an error pop up, you know, some red flag um, account that nothing should be hitting so I know something was not properly set up in the record. So that's basically it with an OverGL reporting. Again, great tool for trying to find discrepancies, reconciling AR, reconciling inventory. Um, just a very useful tool that will be coming uh, to everybody soon. Um, then we have the, the new multi-company setup structure. Um, more than likely, you're probably not going to be 
changing that very often. It's going to be something that you set up um, when you first get new products. Maybe you're, you're been always been a Coke or, or beer um, distributor, but now you're going to get high elk, which you're going to create a new company for. That's when you'd set it up. Once you set it up, you're probably not going to change it too often. And then the last thing, we're just the, the new groupings on our geo sources and be able to assign different account numbers based on different things like company and promotion. That's all I have for you. Everybody have a great day.